Hello, during this demonstration, we're gonna show that an ACI fabric that is stretched between two data centers uh, and how it reacts for link failures inside the data center as well as between the data centers and what's the convergence time. So let me first start by uh, introducing the topology. So here we have one ACI fabric that's stretched between two data centers. So we have two uh, uh, spine switches in data center one, two spine switches in data center two, and four leaf switches on each data center. One of the innovations of uh, this demonstration is the fact that the ACI fabric is stretched using Ethernet over MPLS, pseudo wired. So between leaf four, we have a 40 gig port coming into an ASR9K. That ASR9K then has a 10 gig link towards the remote data center, uh, and then the other ASR has a 40 gig port towards the spine. And then we leverage Ethernet over MPLS, a port-based Ethernet over MPLS, to cross-connect those ports so that LEAF 4 and SPINE 3 they think that they are directly connected. But in between them, that is this Ethernet over MPLS with uh, going across a 10 gig link that has 10 milliseconds of round trip time delay, which would allow this solution to be deployed in data centers that are physically up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles uh, apart. So what I'd like to uh, uh, go ahead here is first uh, introduce the topology uh, from, the, from the lab perspective. So I've just logged here into the uh, ACI APIC GUI. So first, let me go here into the topology. So you see here in the topology that LEAF4 thinks that is directly connected to spine 3, the same way that it sees spine 1 and 2 as directly connected. But in reality, that is a, a, a long distance link between LEAF4 and spine 3, it's going over the Ethernet over MPLS pseudo wire. To demonstrate that, let me log into LEAF4 and log into leaf 4 what we should see is that as soon as I type the right password three, we come into the uh, uh, APIC and then we SSH to leaf 4 so okay we are here into leaf 4 to do a show LLGP neighbors uh, what you see here is Leaf 4 sees spines 1, 2, and 3 as if they were directly connected. But we know that spine 3 is actually connected through uh, Ethernet over MPLS pseudo wire. To be able to demonstrate that to, so that you can see the delay is, let's go here into Fabric uh, uh, Membership, get the IP address of those spine switches and do a trace route from leaf 4. So from leaf 4, if I do a trace route to spine 1, so 10, 0, 104, 94, P address of spine 1. You're going to see that, uh, that the, the, the round trip time between leaf 4 and spine 1 just 0 0.7 uh, uh, milliseconds. They are directly connected inside the same data center. If I do the same command, but now go into the IP address of spine 3, so dot 88, which has the connection going through the Ethernet over MPLS uh, pseudo wire that's going over a 10 gig link with 10 milliseconds round trip time, you see now that to go to spine 3, I go, uh, uh, there is a delay of up to of 10 milliseconds, just over uh, 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 10 milliseconds. So that illustrates the topology from the fabric perspective that uh, uh, those switches, they believe they are directly uh, 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 connected. However, if I come here into the uh, ASR 9K, so 
choose one of them. And uh, this is an, uh, one of the ASR9 case. And if I do a show uh, L2 VPN cross connect, what you see here is that we have uh, Ethernet over MPLS, port based cross connect, taking port 40 gig 0200 and going through the remote device, the remote ASR 555.4 on the virtual circuit, you know, 104. And if I do a show IP route to 555.4, that's reachable via 10 gigabit 0210. And in fact, if I do a show CDP neighbors on the ASR, you see that I, I indeed, I see the data center 2 ASR uh, via my local interface uh, 0210. So that's the construct of the of the topology. Uh, we have the Ethernet over MPLS interconnecting the leaf uh, 4 to spine 3 as well as leaf 5 to uh, uh, spine 2. So what I'd like to do now here is to go ahead and explain the topology. That from a traffic flow perspective. So from a traffic flow perspective, we have traffic flows from uh, some devices, some endpoints that are in the web EPG connected to leaf one, going to the app EPG that's on leaf three. Same from the app EPG to the database EPG, source devices are in leaf one, destinations in leaf two, and vice versa, it's a bidirectional. And we also have some traffic that's contained within data center two. And we have other types of traffic going within tenant four that are for uh, between endpoints that are connected to leaf switches that are located on the two data centers. So between uh, leaf four and leaf five and vice versa and leaf three and leaf eight. So what I would like to uh, uh, go ahead and do now is start doing some link failure tests to demonstrate to you how that solution reacts uh, upon a link failure. So I'm gonna come here first into leaf one, uh, which has two interfaces, going, one interface going to spine one, another interface going to spine two, and we're gonna simulate a link failure. We're gonna create a link failure, I should say, and then we're gonna look into the traffic generator and see how long it takes for ACI to converge uh, 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 after that link failure. So let me come here. We're gonna first go into the traffic generator. So I have a lot of traffic here going on. I try to make the uh, profile, the traffic items uh, uh, simple to understand. So this is start between leaf four and five, uh, between leaf three and eight, between leaf one and three, one and two, six and eight, six and seven. And here you can see have multiple gigabits of traffic. And at the moment, there are uh, uh, no packet loss. Let me just go ahead and clear uh, uh, the stats to make sure that we start with all the, the links clean. So uh, we should shortly see that there are no more traffic loss. Uh, those traffic flows between uh, uh, leaf four and five and between leaf three and eight uh, it's normal that there is uh, uh, this small fr frames delta here. It's because the 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 the, the delay. Uh, it's a big delay between the, the 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 two sites with up to 10 milliseconds. Those are just frames that are uh, in flight. If we stop the traffic flow, that is, they they go to zero and there are actually no loss. Uh, the first scenario that we said we're gonna test was a link failure of intra data center inside data center one. So let's go here into leaf one. It has two links to spine one and two. So double click here. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the link towards spine one. So come here, do disable. So 
okay the link between leaf one and spine one is is gone down so immediately the AP topology now illustrate that I only have a link to spine two and if I go here into the traffic generator you see here that now we do have some traffic loss on, on those streams between leaf one and three and between uh, uh, one and two so here we have an aggregated number uh, of, of the of the packet loss duration 51 milliseconds but let's uh, uh, drill down here so that you can really see uh, worst case scenario so worst case scenario was just uh, under 200 milliseconds so after a link failure inside the data center the ACI fabric is able to converge after the link failure in 194 uh, uh, milliseconds so if I go back here uh, no more uh, 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 traffic loss so let me go ahead and clear the stats so that uh, we can then bring that link back up so just clearing the, the statistics so just wait for that then to clear and or then to come back so uh, everything is back to, to, to zero no more uh, traffic loss and what I'd like to do here is come into leaf one and re-enable that port so uh, the ACI fabric takes uh, a couple of seconds to re-enable the port while uh, really bringing the port online and redirecting traffic to it so you see the ports already uh, enabled but will take um, a couple of seconds before the port is actually put back in, in into services and then uh, when the link is restored we're gonna go ahead and check the traffic generator to see if there are any packet loss so we just restore the link the links now back again and if we come here in the topology you see that again I have the link between uh, back to spine one and if we go here into the statistics you see here that on the flows between leaf one and two uh, one and three there are zero packet loss so which demonstrates that bringing a link back up into services has uh, had zero impact uh, related with uh, 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 packet drops so what I'd like to do now is now that we have done this test is to move ahead and demonstrate to you what happens when there is a, a failure into the data center to data center uh, uh, link so we're gonna then we're gonna fail the link between the two ASRs 9k so come back here so we're gonna come here into the ASR uh, uh, 9k let me go back to the topology you see here that the links between leaf 4 and spine 3 uh, is up between spine 2 and leaf 5 they are also uh, uh, up remember they are going over the uh, Ethernet over the MPLS pseudo wire so I'm coming here into the ASR in data center one I'm gonna go into the 10 gig port to simulate the failure of that link that interconnects the two ASR 9k do a shutdown this is uh, iOS XR so you need to commit that change and immediately the link between spine 2 and leaf 5 goes down because that was the link that we, we simulated the failure with so uh, to take a look at the uh, uh, traffic loss if we filter that here you're gonna see that the, the traffic loss uh, affected was on those traffic items between leaf 3 and 8 and leaf 4 and 5 which are the ones that we, we, we expected because those are the ones that uh, are going across the data center leaf 1 and 3, 1 and 2, 6 and 8 there are no packet loss let's go ahead and deep dive to see what was the uh, worst case scenario and what you see here is 
589 milliseconds. So still, even on that scenario of an indirect link failure, because the link between the two ASRs is the one that's failing, the uh, ACI fabric was act able to react extremely quick and then reconverge around that failure. And I go back here, there are no more uh, 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 traffic drops going on. So let me go ahead and clear the stats. So clear. So we should be back to uh, zero, uh, no more drops, which we are now. And what I'd like to do now is to go ahead and bring that link back up. So I do a no shut, bring the link up. It will take a couple of seconds before uh, the ACI fabric reactivates uh, uh, that link and put that link uh, uh, back in, in, in services. So um, the, the, the layer two pseudo wire is just uh, 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 coming up. And then what you should see is that then the uh, uh, ACI fabric recovers that link. So see here, oh yeah, the uh, cross connect link is now back up. The ASR devices, they haven't yet you know, discovered each other via CGP, but the uh, uh, cross connect is up again. And here we go. The ACI fabric has now restored the link between the spine two and, and, and leaf five, which you know is exactly what we, we expected. And now if I go here into traffic loss, uh, you see here that there are no loss between the, uh, when the link was brought back online. As I said before, it's five milliseconds here. It's normal, it's just the frames that are uh, uh, in flight. If I would go here and stop uh, that traffic, you see here the statistics, you know, the packet loss will come down to, to zero because those were just frames that were in, in, in flight between the sites. So with that, uh, we demonstrated the link uh, uh, being restored as well. So uh, what in summary, we demonstrated to you the use of a single ACI fabric stretched across two data centers. They, were, they are look connected with links that are up to 10 milliseconds of round trip time delay, which allows the data center, allows the data center to be physically located up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles apart. We had a lot of traffic running in the background when we did a intra data center link failure. We had less than 200 milliseconds uh, on link down. Uh, we had zero row packet loss on the link backup. Uh, we were leveraging Ethernet over MPLS, pseudo wire to interconnect the data centers. And when we had the inter data center link failure, uh, we have approximately 550 milliseconds of conversions on, on link down and no packet loss on, on link up. So, Hopefully you enjoy this demonstration of uh, an ACI fabric deployed stretched between two data centers. For more information on ACI, please go to cisco.com slash go slash ACI. Thank you.